A top U.S. military official says any new war on the Korean Peninsula would be incredibly difficult and dangerous. His comments came as another official warned the ballistic missile threat posed by North Korea to the mainland United States has developed from a theoretical consideration to a practical concern. Adirang's Kwon Soa reports. The United States has once again warned of the increasing threat posed by North Korea, saying a war on the Korean Peninsula, should it ever break out again, would be incredibly difficult and extremely dangerous. This according to U.S. Army Chief of Staff General Raymond Odierno when he was asked which part of the world would be the most dangerous to deploy U.S. troops in the case of future contingencies. Speaking at a forum at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, Odierno stressed his worry about North Korea's miscalculations and the importance of U.S. support to South Korea. The latest comments by another leading U.S. military figure show the U.S. is growing increasingly concerned by the ballistic missile threat posed by North Korea. At a Senate hearing Thursday, General Charles Jacoby, head of the Northern Command and North American Aerospace Defense Command, said that while threats to U.S. national security were becoming gradually more imperceptible, the U.S. military could make a confident assessment of where North Korea is in terms of ballistic missile capability. Tangible evidence of North Korean and Iranian ambitions confirms that a limited ballistic missile threat to the homeland has matured from a theoretical to a practical consideration. He added that his agencies were working with the Missile Defense Agency to deal with the potential proliferation of dangerous technologies to other states or terrorist groups. North Korea has developed and tested a number of short- and medium-range missiles, including a series of Scud missile and short-range projectile firings in recent weeks. But analysts have generally discounted claims the regime has the capability to construct a miniature nuclear device for intercontinental ballistic missile delivery. Experts worry that if Pyongyang does possess such technology, the regime will pose a much greater security threat to South Korea, Japan and the United States. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.